All right, everyone, let's be honest. We've all been there, right? Scrolling through old pictures, maybe that song comes on. And suddenly you're like, hmm, should I text my ex? That's the universal experience. Totally. So today we're doing a deep dive on this article, Should You Get Back With Your Ex? It's pretty straight talking, not your typical lovey-dovey advice. Definitely not. We're going to cover some serious deal breakers, maybe some surprising good signs, and some questions to ask yourself. Mm. You know, really look in the mirror. Yeah, get real with yourself. Exactly. So what stood out to you right away in this article? You know, they don't waste any time. They go straight for this idea of emotional FOMO. Emotional FOMO. Yeah, like you're afraid of missing out on what could have been. Oh, I get it. Like maybe we're romanticizing the past. Exactly. But is it them you miss or this idea you have of them? Kind of like when you convince yourself those low-rise jeans were a good look back in the day. Ah, uh, we've all been there. Big time. Okay, so the article doesn't mess around. It gives us three absolute deal breakers when it comes to getting back with an ex. Number one, if neither of you has changed, it's like watching the same bad rom-com again. Totally. And we all know how those sequels usually turn out. Exactly. Why expect a different ending with the same ingredients, right? Right. If those issues that caused the breakup are still there, it's going to blow up again. So how can someone actually know if real change happened? Well, are the same patterns still repeating? Have you both honestly addressed those underlying problems? That's key. Makes sense. Okay, deal breaker number two is pretty obvious. Yeah. Any kind of abuse. Absolutely, full stop. No amount of apologies or grand gestures can erase that. Yeah. It's about your safety and self-respect. Couldn't agree more. And, you know, sometimes even without abuse, there are just fundamental differences. Like trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. Exactly. Opposites attract and all, but what if your core values clash yeah. or your life goals? That's going to lead to constant frustration. Imagine one person wants to travel the world while the other's dreaming of settling down with a vegetable garden. Yeah, you can't compromise on everything. Speaking of things you can't force, this line from the article really hit me. Your ex is your ex for a reason, and the sequel is rarely better than the original. <sighs> Truth bomb. Seriously. Think about those movie sequels that make you wonder why they even bothered. Like The Matrix Reloaded? Exactly. The point is, nostalgia's powerful. It's easy to focus on the good times and forget the reasons why things ended. This article is a wake-up call reminding us to ditch the rose-tinted glasses. Right. But before we write off all exes forever, the article does mention some surprising times when getting back together might actually work. It does, but there's a big but. There is, and that but is work. It's not about magically falling back in love. It takes serious effort from both people to build something stronger. Real, tangible change. Therapy, self-reflection, taking responsibility. So not just saying the right things, but showing up differently. Exactly. Let's say someone had terrible communication skills before. Uh-oh, I know a few people like that. Right. But have they actually worked on that? Can you see the proof? Actions speak louder than words. 100%. The article makes that point about respect and communication being essential. Did your ex really treat you right consistently? Not just sweet talk, but genuine actions. Yeah, think about insert relevant pop culture couple or current event example. Would you say they're showing real change in respect? Good question. Now, get ready, because the article throws three tough questions at us. Really think about these. Why did we break up in the first place? Am I just lonely? Or do I actually believe this person has grown? And would I recommend this relationship to my best friend? Whoa, those are heavy hitters. They are. And if you hesitate on any of those, it's a major red flag. It's about thinking with your head and your heart. So what's the article's final verdict? Well, it's pretty clear. Getting back with an ex is probably not the best idea. Probably not. But, but if you're going to do it, go in with your eyes wide open. No rose-tinted glasses allowed. Nope. And remember, you're in charge of your own happiness. Powerful stuff. You can't rely on someone else for that. You can't. Okay, so before anyone runs off to text their ex, think back to that emotional FOMO we talked about. Right. Are you missing the actual person or just a hazy memory? Maybe this is your chance to create something new and amazing with or without your ex. That's a great point. This article really pushes you to figure out what you truly want. Make choices that align with your growth and happiness. Such a valuable takeaway. Mm. Well, there you have it, folks. Another deep dive done. Maybe think twice before hitting send on that, hey, how are you, text. You never know. Something even better might be just around the corner. And that's something we can all look forward to. Absolutely.